nicer day. Hope you enjoyed the nice sunset that we had before the fog sunrise. rolled in or sunrise. It's like o'clock in the morning. Alright, it's like 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, nice sunrise before the fog rolled in. Um, we have brunch today at Palo at 1230. Um, afterwards, we're going to meet some of the characters on the deck in their Alaska gear, uh, surrounded by the beautiful Dawes Glacier, lots of wildlife, hopefully, yeah. um, and lots of ice. Yeah, so really it's going to be a fantastic day. Yeah. It is nice and early still, and we are the only ones in the atrium. You can see they have the maypole set up for the uh, maypole twirl and hurl. Everything is I all frozen. I'm not doing that. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you know what? That's a good point, actually. There, there might be some, some really dark stuff happening. Thanks, thanks, Midsummer. You ruined the maypole. Uh, it's all nice and frozen in here for tonight, which is the freezing the night away deck party. So cold. Um, although, oddly enough, it's not frozen night no. for the show Tomorrow. and for the menu. So it's kind of, that's weird to me. No, the menu is frozen tonight. No, it's, is it? Yeah. Are, are you sure? I thought right. it was the same night as the show. No, it's oh. just, it's time for some reason. I wonder why they wouldn't. Oh, there's the, the there's that, there's that horn going because it is very foggy outside now. Um, and they do sound the horn when it's foggy. Another fun fact, I haven't gone through the other gift shop yet, um, but and I haven't seen any other cruises, you can actually buy this aerial. It's like a statue for each of the cruises. So hopefully they have these little icons here on each of the ships. That'd be really cool. Since we have brunch later, just a small breakfast, I have a turkey and Swiss cheese croissant, a jam filled donut, and a chocolate croissant. And Kelly has some pancakes, a hash brown, and some eggies. I'm really hungry right now. <laughs> it is gonna be in like five hours, so I, I suppose. But I wanted to say my appetite for brunch is like so much. Yeah, um, it is, it is a lot of food. So, we'll see. <laughs> so we're done with breakfast, back at our room now. We're gonna take a shower and kind of get ready for the day. Um, out on our veranda, you can kind of see how we are getting closer to Endicott Arm. Notice some of that ice on top of the mountain there. It's really kind of surreal to see. It's so beautiful. You can kind of see the fog sitting at the base there. Ah, the beauty and wonder of Alaska. The many mountain fjords. That's a joke. I think they're working. Look at them. Hey, look. Oh. Something. Yeah. Mm. see behind me the beautiful Alaskan weather a little foggy um, we just enjoyed some coffee from Cove Cafe um, maybe saw some seals I think the whales. There were whales pretty sure there were seals I think there were orca whales because I saw a dorsal fin <laughs> I did not see a dorsal fin I um, I'm not sure if I got footage of it honestly. it was, it was, it was hard to see so but we should be getting into Endicott Arm in the Dawes Glacier um, in about an hour. Is it about an hour? Yeah, I think so. Um, and then we have our Palo brunch reservations at 12.30. Um, so we're going to probably just hang out up on the deck, try to keep warm, see what wildlife we can see, and go from there. Yeah. There it is. Iceberg. The last iceberg in existence. <laughs> Thanks, climate change. All right, through the fog, right up there, it's a glacier. I don't see it. That is so cool. Well, come look on the camera here. See it? Right there. That blue. Right here. What? That's all glacier. 100%. Yes, it is. Whoa! Yeah. What? 
Yeah, you didn't really, you couldn't really see it. <laughs> All right, now that the, some of the more fog is lifted, you can see even more of that glacier there up on the mountain. That's absolutely incredible. To put it in perspective, and we're kind of turning now, but like all this here, that's all mountain. Um, it's just really hard to see because there's so much fog um, that it's super tough to see, but man, this is incredible. All that's mountain. And there's a whale right out there, but now it's too foggy to see, and it wasn't really focusing, so unfortunately I didn't see him, but it was just a little guy. So we're now on the veranda. You can kind of see the glacier up there. Let me zoom in. Now there's that glacier here from the veranda on our room. And it's so weird because of all this fog. You probably don't really get it on the video, but if you like look straight out into the fog, you get like a like a staticky kind of feel in your eyes. Like everything kind of like little dots appear and stuff. It's weird. It messes with your eyes, hurts. I'm not gonna look out anymore. I'm just gonna look down at the water. But we are turning, um, I'm assuming, to begin our approach into the uh, Indicott Arm. Um, but we're going super slow, it is super quiet out on our veranda. It's like barely anybody in their verandas right now. As you can see, it's like glass water out here. So, right now, we are stopped outside of the Indicott Arm. We are waiting for the fog to be lifting. There is no telling when that will happen. We will, of course, uh, be standing by for until the fog lifts. Uh, if the fog lifts, we will enter the Endicott term. If the fog uh, stays here until later on this afternoon, then we will not enter the Endicott term today. Safety is always our paramount uh, priority number one, and we actually mean it. And when we cannot see the icebergs, we cannot navigate in the ice. So I hope you understand this one. I know you're disappointed, and so are we. We are disappointed, very disappointed. However, um, Disney did not create the fog. That's uh, kind of beyond our control. And we will do the best we can and wait for the fog to lift in order to safely enter into the end of the If I learned anything from Titanic, you want to be able to see an iceberg. That so is very true. Totally makes sense. <laughs> but, I mean, there's also no point of going through Endicott Arm if we're not going to be able to see anything. Because exactly, it is very yeah. foggy. Yeah. So, um, definitely unfortunate, but you can't do anything about it. Yeah, you know. and you got to be safe. Yeah, yeah they're right. Safety yeah. is number one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so. so the last thing I want is to be on a door. Uh, in the middle well, of... Well, newsflash, uh, you don't get on the door. Oh, that's true. Oh, great. I do. So, I don't want Kelly on a door, and then my... Uh, conspiracy theory, yeah. they both could have fit. But, um... Uh, there already, there's been, there's been studies, I okay? <laughs> um, but that's okay. We're going to get ready to go to Palo Brunch. Um, so, that'll be a nice few hours, and then hopefully by then, the uh, fog will have lifted. Yeah. Hello, we are here at uh, Palo Brunch. Uh, we have an amazing view of uh, the Indicott Arm. It's still too foggy to go in, but hopefully it's lifting. Um, I think we're gonna have an amazing time. So at Palo Brunch, uh, along with the um, kind of upscale buffet style, you do get a single entree, either from the more um, breakfast menu, things like Eggs Benedict, waffles, pancakes, etc., to calzones, flatbreads, um, other type of Italian choices. The Parmesan crusted chicken breast is incredible, as is the lasagna bolognese. Um, and you do get one free alcoholic beverage with your reservation. I just got a peach bellini and Kelly got some Prosecco. Mm. That is a super, super good peach bellini. How is your Prosecco? Fantastic. Here, as you can see, very small sizes. It's a treat mm -hmm. for you to try a little bit of everything as well. Tiramisu is one of my favorite desserts of it. Um, it's basically this lady finger soaking coffee macchiatino and chocolate. It's a very soft dessert, it's really, really nice. Non sugar and dessert, brittle champagne jelly with mixed berries. Mm -hmm. Our mini burgers, they cook with the salad It looks like a burger. It does, it, it does. does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> really, really nice. And then we have our lemon meringue tart. It comes with this strawberry shake. It's a pastry filled with ricotta cheese and pistachio. It's amazing. And 
here. This is our little spot. They're gonna check the people should be in Cali Ooh. <laughs> Perfect. I need a big one to the home. <laughs> International cheese boards. Birds and cheese, they'll bring some more. It's a creamy cheese with garlic and herbs. It's really, really nice. They have two types of cheddar. The green one is with sage, and the pink one with pork and brandy. Mm. Okay. They're relaxed, short for a while, chives, and then as well the egg yolk puree. Mm. One of my favorite ever. Arancini, this is amazing. This fried risotto is topped with mozzarella cheese and popcorn. So they do these little uh, rice balls, then they pass by the bread and they you can take the whole thing and hide under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like seafood? Yes. yes. Okay. This is our seafood station. Of course, I'm in Alaska, so I need to start with Alaska. Mm -hmm. We have two types of tuna. Plain tuna and the Cajun egg tuna. This one is a little bit spicy. Okay, I'll just like. Then have some caviar with some roast and condiments. Bloody Mary and baby shrimp. It's non alcoholic. Anyway, you're not charging. So <laughs> We have as well some smoked salmon I'm sorry, you're filming and this is almost empty. They oh no, it's quite here. okay. They'll no bring worries. Some the salad's gonna be here. I oh, highly perfect. recommend you to try, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. And then you have some salmon with and fruit. Tomato mozzarella caprese, mm -hmm. it's amazing. Comes with a fried basil on the top. We have as well our grilled vegetables. They are marinated with olive oil and garlic. Basically comes with zucchini, eggplant and peppers. Feta cheese with egg and put on the bottom and our strawberry cold soup. Ooh. It's really nice. It's a vanilla ice cream, fresh strawberries and mint. Ooh, so it's just a little bit of the sweet. Oh, wow. All our cold cuts here, we should be parma, our Italian ham, is aged at least for 400 days and it comes with some melon on the side, cut a little bit of the saltness as well. Some salami, they will bring copper here, which is very similar with the prosciutto, it's a little bit more salty, and our chorizo sauce. Now we go for our cheese table. Cacio Cavallo Silano, it's a very smooth cheese from Italy, it's a pound of cheese. Then you have our pecorino sardo, pecorino toscano, sorry. It's a sheep's milk cheese. You want to see it's more crumbly, more salty as well. It's delicious. Mimoletta from France, cow milk cheese. Do you ever heard it's about it's a natural? Mm -hmm. It's a spicy that they add on the preparation of the cheese, so that's why I'm going to give this orange color oh, wow. and a nutty flavor as well. Quantina. It's a little bit strong, okay? I'll as a if you don't like this very stinky cheese. Okay. <laughs> Just stay away from this one. Sure. Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, one of the most famous cheese in Italy. 25 months age. Come in big wheels with 60 pounds more or less, which one? Now, can we take this whole tray with us? <laughs> you can wheel it. Wheel it. It's gonna fit on the wagon. Perfect. They come. We have a restaurant where they keep this pasta inside of the cheese wheel. It's oh nice. wow! Yeah. You really need to like cheese because yeah. it's quite strong. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that sounds incredible. Yeah, that's amazing. Wow. That sounds amazing. It's really, really nice. This one and the mimoletta. I recommend you to try with some kind of pot. Okay. 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 Well, the flavor. Okay. Warm sticky mug with caramel sauce. I'll say this completely sugar and calories free as well. <laughs> Perfect. It's <That's laughs> quite close, so there's no calories inside. <laughs> Selection of muffins. If you like Nutella, try this one. Ooh, Ooh that looks good. Looks really good. Apple cinnamon. This is a strawberry and a mascarpone cheese, mm -hmm. and then an assortment of pastries yeah. as well. Ready yeah. to awesome. start? So, as you can see, I went around the table with cheese here, got a little bit of fig, some honeycomb, one of those deep fried um, thingies, I don't know what the heck it is, got some prosciutto, strawberry and cream, the Nutella and chocolate chip, and one of those sticky buns. Kelly also got plenty, she got some tuna. Pretty much cheese and seafood. <laughs> um, the caprese, I love. Caviar, arancini, tuna, shrimp, cheese, plate number one looks Ooh, so yes. good. Alright, so our incredible waitress just brought this out for us. Um, the chef prepared it special today for brunch. It is a boiled egg that has been rolled in parmesan and deep fried. It is on a bechamel sauce with black truffle and truffle oil. It smells so good. That's good. Really good. Yeah, it looks super good. This is how I wish I could eat eggs all the time. <laughs> Here are our entrees. I got the artichoke ravioli uh, that has some cheese, cream, mushrooms in there. It smells incredible. And there's some black truffle as well. And Kelly got the parmesan crusted chicken breast. Also looks really, really good. 
ravioli was absolutely fantastic. Perfect portion size, very light, and it has these little kind of strips of Meyer lemon um, that just really make it pop, and just just it's so bright and delicious. It's super good. And Kelly's was also fantastic. Very good. Highly recommend. I got this last time for brunch. Yeah, but it's worth it. It's so good. So much food, but it's good. So for dessert, I just have a little tiramisu and this cute little martini glass. I'm kind of super full, but I still want some. Kelly got some delicious chocolate covered palo strawberries and it was like a walnut something cake. Mm -hmm. Walnut brown, walnut white chocolate brownie. We have been surprised with a chocolate molten cake here that just looks incredible and I honestly don't know how much I'm gonna be able to eat of this. Kelly's digging in. Let's see what she thinks. God, that looks good. Oh, that looks so rich. Good? Yeah. Here in front of the world's strangest lighting, um, we look very orange. Um, Palo was absolutely fantastic, always is. So what did you good. think, Kelly? It was amazing. Yeah. You know the food is really good when you are so full but you just want to keep eating. Um, our server, Soraya from Portugal, was amazing. She brought out a couple extra dishes for us to try that were amazing, and we ended up eating all of those too. <laughs> um, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend Paolo um, for dinner or brunch on any of your cruises. We like brunch just a little bit more, but it's very, very close. Absolutely. You can go wrong at either. Um, the team, the staff, the food, everything is always and top notch. five stars. Absolutely. 100%. Coming back to the room, the amazing April, who is our stateroom hostess, as you can see, tidied up everything, but it looks like Anna was here, and she left That's us Anna. our surprise for finishing her chocolate scavenger hunt. Right Kelly, do you want to eat this whole chocolate chase milk chocolate bar? Oh, it's one word. ounce of chocolate. Stop talking about chocolate. Yeah. It's delicious. You don't want it? It's so full. You don't want it? Eat it. I can't. Eat it. Oh Eat it. There is just a waterfall or a, a river or something straight up going down that mountain. Look at that. Just, just from our veranda. How incredible is that? This is this is something. Look at all those icebergs. Watch out, Titanic. We got Daisy Duck over here. We're gonna go get in line. Hi Daisy!
He looks so warm. I know. I know. I got a hood. We're all, we're all bundled up. We're not used to this. We live by your vacation home in Orlando, so we're, we're <laughs> nice. And, it's warm. This is so cold. Yes. Lounging out, sun, and it's amazing. <laughs> Here we are. Right behind us is the Dallas Glacier. It's a Dallas Glacier, right? I think so. Okay, for sure it's the Dallas Glacier. <laughs> Around the cold. Um, right behind us, right there. It's really amazing. We're turning now, so now the back of the boat is pretty close to it. Uh, and we'll be leaving Endicott Arm now, uh, about an hour and a half, two hours to get out of the arm. Time to see how long the line is now to meet Mr. Mickey Mouse, aka the Gorton's Fisherman. I just love him. He is just too stinking cute. All right, it's a couple minutes till 4.30. We're gonna head down to Oaken's Maypole Twirl and Hurl, <laughs> uh, where the kids will spin around in circles till one of them pukes. First one puke wins. They are crowned the king or the queen. It's not, be great. I don't think that's actually what it is. It is. Often, I have a place called Everton. Does anyone ever go to Everton? Oh. And on our map, Everton is right in the zone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's right here in the Scandinavia area. It's so small. And you can barely even see it. It's almost like Like this. I mean, that's a round of his death, like this. Now, let's look down to see what we're going to do. Let's look down to see what we're going to do. We like to weave a great ribbon together to bring you to the house and stuff. You are a stop that auto. What? Oh, yeah, um, I was uh, never very good. That's a big one, not seeing anything. Oh, it's okay. Tiana's place again tonight. It is frozen themed. So tonight they have a whole frozen themed menu. I think I'm gonna try the Perfection. Sounds interesting. They also have the Midnight and an Ice Palace, which is non-alcoholic. Um, Yarlsberg tart, sorted meats and cheeses with pumpernickel, kind of a charcuterie board. Um, Ben's carrot soup sounds interesting. Also have a knocker broad, dark rye bread. I don't know about that liver pate though. And then for actual main course, 
The honey mustard marinated salmon sounds pretty good. They have a lobster ravioli as well. Uh, of course, always has vegetarian offerings and the lighter note offerings each night as well. All right, Joey going in with the pate. It really had pate before. On that rye bread that kind of looks like a cracker, but. What do you think? <laughs> Is it confusing? I taste it. Oh really? Let's put more on there. She said it's heavy cream, chicken, and what? Liver? I guess. It's chicken liver. Oh, chicken heavy liver. Cream, oh, yes. sorry. Oh, okay. That sounds really gross to make. No? What's it taste like? Mm. All right, big recommendation for the Okay, what's it taste like? It just kind of tastes like butter. Oh. Like it doesn't taste meaty at all. It's okay. Just kind of very light and airy. Alright. Nice. How was the cracker? I mean, I say cracker, it is but a it's very hard cracker. Yeah. Um, very rough. Good, yeah, good roughage. It's, it's not bad. It's just... Okay. You heard it here, folks. Cracker has good roughage. So I got the coronation scallops, not realizing it's also topped with a puff pastry. So that's looks really good. And then Kelly. Got the uh, selection of meats and cheeses. So here is my pear affection. Really, really good. Um, it has like recordling pear, absolute pear, vodka. Um, a lot of pear. It's super light and refreshing. I had the coronation scallops and the nice uh, uh, buttery, fl flaky, crispy crust. Baked on a buttery, crispy crust. Flaky. I like flaky all again. It was pretty good. Unbelievably hot though, temperature wise. I can't feel my tongue. So that's a real bummer. Um, I got, I'm eating Kelly's prosciutto. But she cannot eat prosciutto. So I'm going to eat it and it's going to be delicious. And then she focuses finally after 10 minutes. So I got the um, leafy field green salad. It has brioche croutons some walnuts, lingonberry dressing, uh, vanilla, some dried apricots. It looks really good, it smells really good. The salad was so good it disappeared. Just kidding, it was all right. Uh, I didn't realize it had arugula in it and I hate arugula, uh, but the rest of it tastes pretty good. All right, got some salmon here. Looks good, smells good. I'm so full from bread, so I don't know how much of this I'm gonna eat, but I'm gonna give it a good old try. And I have the pork tenderloin um, with spatzel, some carrots, some fingerling potatoes, some mushrooms. Uh, it's got like a mushroom sauce on it. it smells pretty good. Let's give it a shot. Uh, definitely got full, but I think the pork tenderloin on the frozen menu uh, has so far at least been my favorite dinner that I've had. The pork was super moist, um, the mushroom sauce was tasty, um, had a little bit of cream on it. Overall, super, super tasty. Um, not sure why the random kale's there, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, so definitely got the pork tenderloin. All right, here's the, here's the frozen dessert menu. Um, I'm looking at the warm apple pudding cake. Uh, the chef recommendation was the chocolate and raspberry tart. Also sounds pretty good. Here is the warm apple pudding cake with vanilla ice cream. And whatever the heck that is. I'm not really sure about that. And then look how cute Kelly's dome is. Oh, he killed it. I was trying to show you the cross section. Well, I didn't work out too well at all. Okay. You want another one? Yeah, it's all right. We got a little bear friend. Came back to the room to a little bear friend. He's wearing my sunglasses. Look at that. He's so cute. This is the bear. What are you doing, Mr. Bear? Oh, no, it's drunk bear. Doop doop. Look at this. We got, a, we got a rival cruise ship over there. And then over here, we got a smaller cruise ship. Or maybe it's just a fairy, I don't really know. You know what, actually, I think this is the fairy that they talked about at the lecture yesterday morning. I think that's right. 
and then here's that other cruise ship. I can't tell who this is. Princess, maybe? It might be Princess. You cold? I'm freezing! <laughs> I'm so cold! Would you say that you're freezing the night away? Yes, yeah, it's, it's too cold. Freezing the night away has been cancelled. Yeah. So many things. Big summer blowout. Get ready to shake your booty. Have fun, family. <laughs> Today's favors are pina colada and strawberry. I think I'm gonna get strawberry. Good evening. <laughs> we are both very tired. <laughs> we're so tired. We were gonna meet Mickey um, at 9.30, um, but we were both exhausted. We met Minnie in her outfit. We met Daisy in her outfit. And we saw Goofy, we saw Chip and Dale, we saw I Mickey. I we else too. Um, no, not tonight, Gosh. I don't think. A lot of characters. We've, we've met a lot of characters on this mm -hmm. cruise so far. Uh, probably the most characters we've met in years, probably. Mm -hmm. um, so, anyways, we're just gonna call it a night because we're exhausted. We also woke up and mm -hmm. watched the sunrise. Yeah, so we've been up for like a while. Five forty-five. I took a nap for like two hours. I didn't mean to, but I just kind of fell asleep. I did not. <laughs> uh, much earlier today, so we're both super tired. Uh, but in any case, we're gonna wrap it up. It was a phenomenal day yeah. in Dawes Glacier. This is beautiful. Definitely a highlight of my mm -hmm. entire life. That was absolutely incredible. That's so surreal. Everything was really pretty it and was. just just pristine and like it was amazing. It was very nice. Um, mm -hmm. So if you liked our video and like the beautiful scenic views, give us a thumbs up. Um, let us know what you think in the comments below. If you want to keep seeing our adventures, including the next four whole days of our Alaska cruise make sure you subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified every time our videos go live and as always 
because we don't have a cool catchphrase. <laughs> we will see you next time for more Young at the Parks.